Hi guys, welcome to Assets Tech Review. Um, today it's actually more a little bit about advice. I'm going to be talking to you about Asus's Republic of Gamers iDirect app for the iPhone. And I'm going to basically walk you through how I managed to connect my iPhone with this software because it's pretty hard. Um, first off, the app is pretty cool. It allows you to uh, remotely switch off your computer, restart, overclock cores, voltages, check out how the hardware is doing. It's, it's quite a nice app. Problem is, getting it connected to your computer is not so nice. The, there are instructions out there, but the instructions are pretty poor. When you contact Asus, it seems as if they don't even know how to connect it themselves. I've been in touch with them a few times and really they, they just kind of send you back an awful lot of bullshit. It's, it's not really uh, constructive feedback or instructions. So eventually I've managed to figure it out and I'm going to tell you guys how I managed to do it, hoping that it helps you. Now, through my attempts I discovered that um, you need to get a couple of things. The first thing you need to get is your Bluetooth uh, working. Now, you can go to your vendor Basically what I did was, because I've got Toshiba, I went to Toshiba's website, downloaded the latest, latest, latest Bluetooth drivers, didn't work. I had to get uh, a slightly older version of the Bluetooth drivers from Asus's website because it seems for some reason that they do something different to it. So just to quickly show you how you get there, Asus.com, click on Global, then go to Services, Support, and click on Download. Now. Before you go any further, you want to make sure that your motherboard actually supports the ROG iDirect. Um, it'll be a feature on the motherboard box, you'll see it in the manuals. Most of you who are looking at this will probably already know what I'm talking about and know that it's compatible, but if you've just stumbled across this and you're thinking, oh that looks cool, I'd like to do that for my PC, double check that it works with your motherboard before going ahead, because this is specific to certain Asus motherboards. Anyway, so here we are, drivers and downloads, start do it automatically, ignore this silly useless ASUS error message and go to your operating system, boom it'll pop up and then if you drop down to Bluetooth you'll see your Bluetooth. Download the driver, download the patch, pop up to utilities and download mobile link because this app unlike well, this app will not work without Mobile Link. Uh, it doesn't tell you about that when you actually download the app, which is also very dumb, but it's a necessary thing to get it working. So once you've downloaded those three files, you're pretty much ready to get going. Now, it's a little weird. You're going to have to do a lot of reboots. The first thing I'd recommend doing is getting your Bluetooth working. So that's pretty straightforward. Double click on the XE follow it through, install it wherever you want to install it, reboot your PC, do the same thing for the patch, once the patch is done, reboot your PC again, happy days. Now, the mobile link software, this is going to be a little bit interesting, because when you double click on it and you install it, it looks like nothing happens. Okay, the installation goes, you click on finish, and then nothing. You go into all programs, you click on Asus Utility, you see nothing, you click on Asus, still nothing there. This here is no nothing related to what we're talking about, this is something else. So you're wondering, what's going on? I've just installed Mobile Link, why hasn't it installed? Well, it did, it just it didn't put any desktops on it because, unfortunately, it's poor made software. You actually have to browse into the directory where you installed it. So, open up your My Computer. More than likely you've installed it on your C drive and program files. For me, I've done it in uh, my own directory. Program files, Asus, mobile link, and there it is. Now, you need to double click on this to actually get it going the first time. But when you double click on it, as you can see, nothing happens. How you check, you open up your task manager by right hand clicking and choosing properties. Oh no, sorry, that's wrong right hand clicking <laughs> and choosing start your task manager. In your task manager sort it by name and then you're going to see Asus 
control service <laughs> silly name but there it is there when you see that you know you've got it going now it's very important that once you've seen this you do a reboot once you've done the reboot open up your task manager again and check that you've got this one if you don't same process into your program files double click and then once you see this here you need to do another reboot once you've got that reboot done you're ready to start trying to connect now I don't know if anyone else has noticed this maybe it's just a bit of a screw up on my own board but um, you actually need to switch your Bluetooth on on the back you'll have these buttons here uh, in this figure according to my computer this would be Bluetooth switched off so, uh, I don't know why but apparently when I push the button and the light switches off my Bluetooth device comes to life so they must have made some kind of a, a mess up there but if you're having problems getting your Bluetooth working try pushing the button so that the light switches off and you might actually see it works for you too now once you've done that you'll actually see in here your Bluetooth pops up to get it going you need to right hand click on it go to settings and you'll be prompted with this screen you want to click on new connection a new connection will pop up this screen click on next and leave it there for a second and now let's jump to your iPhone and get it going so I hope you guys will be able to see this alright let me just give it a, a shot you all know my passcode ha ha so to get this going you need to go to settings in settings you want to scroll down to general in general you want to go to network network go to internet feathering and switch it on it's not going to work if you don't switch it on click turn on bluetooth if you get the message if you don't get that message don't worry about it just click on back or sorry network general and then scroll to your bluetooth which will be in here somewhere okay give me a second oh my bluetooth's already switched on okay well I'm going to assume you all know how to switch your bluetooth on uh, I'm having one of those dumb moments where I can't seem to find it general ah there we go bluetooth and switch your bluetooth on there now on this screen like on the computer you're gonna have searching so just leave that there for a second and go back to your screen here so next searching it should find it here we go click on next now everything that you see here you kind of expect the pin code to pop up on your phone enter in a pin what's just happened on screen there is exactly how it goes no pin code pumps pops up on your iPhone it just jumps automatically back to here and then you've got your phone now to actually get the connection going you need to right hand click on this guy and choose connect now this here and on your phone you're going to see that there so what you do is you click pair then you click yes and that's it now on your phone you should be ready to connect to iRog um, using the app you can tell that you're, you're, you're good to go because you see up the top here you've got internet tethering so that's a good sign so now let's go to the app here we are and in here you want to click on connection and bluetooth 
I'd tell you how to do Wi-Fi, but I haven't figured out Wi-Fi yet, so I'll do another video as soon as I figure out Wi-Fi. But for the moment, Bluetooth, go back, and then, boom, you should be able to connect to your PC. Hardware monitor, check the fans. It's pretty awesome. You'll be able to do your remote overclocking, your advanced mode. Or if you're just lazy in bed or something like that, don't want to get up, turn your computer off, you can shut it down. <laughs> I hope this works for you guys. I hope the information has been helpful. Um, do let us know what you think. Thank you for listening. Take it easy, folks. Bye.